Buddhism is often associated with the idea of winning, but what does this actually mean? In Nichiren Buddhism, the concept of winning is closely tied to the idea of attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime and achieving our goals and dreams. This may sound like a lofty goal, but Nichiren Buddhism teaches that it is actually quite attainable through consistent practice. Nichiren Daishonin, the founder of Nichiren Buddhism, explains the idea of winning in his writing, the true aspect of all phenomena. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the greatest of all joys. It is the ultimate and unsurpassed principle. It is the greatest beneficence. It is the greatest of all rewards. It is the greatest happiness. It is the greatest of all good fortune. To put it briefly, it is the ultimate principle of true cause and effect. The true aspect of all phenomena, the Buddha nature of all beings. This passage shows that the true joy and benefit of practicing Buddhism lies in the attainment of the ultimate principle of cause and effect. In other words, through consistent practice, we can align ourselves with the underlying principles of the universe and achieve our goals and dreams. Winning in Buddhism is not just about achieving material success, but also about spiritual growth and development. It is about overcoming our inner obstacles and revealing our inherent Buddha nature. This can manifest in various ways, such as finding happiness and fulfillment in our personal relationships, overcoming addiction, or finding our life's purpose. The idea of winning is closely tied to the concept of human revolution, which is the process of fundamentally transforming our lives and revealing our inherent Buddha nature. This process is described by Nichiren in On Attaining Buddhahood in This Lifetime. This is what is meant by a human revolution. It refers to the inner transformation of our lives, a transformation that can be accomplished only through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This is what the Daishonin means when he writes, Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is both the cause and effect of Buddhahood. It means that simply by chanting this mystic law, we can transform our lives at the very core and make them shine with the brilliance of the mystic law. This passage shows that the true purpose of Buddhism is not just to attain enlightenment, but to transform our lives and reveal our inherent Buddha nature. This is accomplished through the consistent practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and aligning ourselves with the underlying principles of the universe. Contemporary Buddhist scholars have also discussed the idea of winning in Nichiren Buddhism. Daisaku Ikeda, a prominent Buddhist leader, writes, Nichiren Daishonin teaches us that we can attain true victory in our lives by developing a profound, unwavering faith in the mystic law and using it to create value. In Buddhism, victory is not limited to achieving personal success or defeating one's enemies. True victory is the attainment of absolute happiness, the state of life in which we realize our fullest potential as human beings. This passage shows that winning in Buddhism is not limited to personal success or defeating one's enemies, but is actually about attaining absolute happiness and realizing our fullest potential as human beings. In conclusion, the idea of winning in Buddhism is closely tied to the concept of attaining Buddhahood in this lifetime and achieving our goals and dreams. It is about aligning ourselves with the underlying principles of the universe and transforming our lives at the very core. Winning in Buddhism is not just about personal success, but about attaining absolute happiness and realizing our fullest potential as human beings.